guys, Jill here, and I just started a new project, so I figured I'd kind of take you guys along with me, show you how I'm doing this project, how I came up with the template, and, you know, just pretty much the process of it. So what I'm working on is I've decided I wanted to do a envelope mini with policy envelopes, and honestly, I have two. I have this one and then I have a brown one that I had already started to decorate actually at a make and take at Stamp Fest years and years ago. So obviously to do this project I would have had to go out and buy some envelopes and as you know I just bought a bunch of paper. So I just use this envelope as a template and it is really easy to make your own envelopes and so here are, well, let me show them, I guess like that, sorry about having to show you without the whole envelope and screen, but here is the first one I made, and I used the Bow Bunny Welcome Home Collection, it's just beautiful papers, and as you know, I just got this, and I'm loving how these papers coordinate with each other front and back just enough to, to give contrast. And I have another envelope that I've started that I'm going to show you. And I kind of have a, a basic idea of where this is going. I did three, four, I'm going to do seven envelopes. It's going to be bound right here. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, you can look at it the tall way, probably. And we'll see how it goes. And then, where did I put it? Well, I have another one. Give me a moment here. I pulled it out to show you guys. I'm going to use this as the cover, which is the door. So I think that's going to be really neat. And I'm going to do that out of chipboard. And I'll do that another time. I'm just going to show you how I did the envelopes. They're fast, easy, and it just, you know, comes down to your paper. See, I got the papers out and I set them somewhere. Oh, that was smart. Okay. Okay, so really you're just going to need a few basic tools that you have. A paper cutter some kind of scoring tool. It doesn't have to be a scoreboard, but might as well. And look, the papers are right under everything. I have the envelope flap that I wanted, and again, optional. And your scoring tools, a pencil, and again, if you want, a one inch punch, or you can just cut it down differently. But I found the punch worked pretty well. And then you'll want a pair of small craft scissors. Now with my Martha Stewart scoreboard, I use this small bone folder as opposed to the one that came with it. It's sturdier, a little bit thicker, and I've really liked this one over the years. And as far as your adhesive goes, I'm using quick dry adhesive. Really, you know, you can use a glue stick, you can use any kind of adhesive that you like, like score tape, red line any of them, but I find it most economical when I'm doing book projects to use the quick dry and the glue sticks when I can. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And here, see, here's the one I was looking for. <laughs> and this one is one-sided, but I just wanna show you the process of how I did it. So a lot of this is gonna go off frame and I'm sorry. And I'm going to try to work on that. But all we're going to do with the 12 by 12 piece of paper is cut one side down to 9 inches. Okay. So now let me get this in here so that I can show you. I made a template. And a very simple template. Just out of a nice bright yellow sheet of paper. But the measurements are pretty basic. And you can modify these 
Okay, so I'm hoping you can see this, and you're not going to see all the way down, but first thing I do with the 9 inch mark over here, I score at a half inch, and at 4 and 3 quarters, and this is not 4 and 3 quarters from the half inch mark, it's actually the 4 and 3 quarter inch mark on the board. Then, you're going to want to flip it. Now, if your paper is directional, obviously that's going to matter. This is going to be your top. So, if it's directional, obviously this is your top. So, for the top, I scored at 2 inches. And all the way down here. At 11 and a half. So I'm leaving a little half inch border on both sides. Okay, so then what I do, set that aside, is I come in and I score all of those score lines. While they're fresh in my mind, that way. I don't miss something. There we go. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this in frame for you guys. <laughs> Somewhat. Okay. So this one doesn't want to do it in frame. Sorry. Okay, so now they're all folded. And I'm going to come in a little bit so you can see the cuts. And I cut this one already. But what you're going to do again, you have this piece that has a score here and a score here. You're going to decide which piece you want as your envelope flap. So I decided the piece coming off of what I'm going to make is the top of mine, which is the piece without the folds, is going to be the flap. So you don't want to cut the flap. You just want to cut next to the flap. And then you're going to cut this piece off all the way across. So you're going to cut across the half inch mark. Okay, so now you have a flap that we will modify in a minute. And then I like to just take a little piece off of there so it doesn't get caught in anything. And I like to do that down here too. But I find the way that's easiest for them to line up is come across at the point and cut just below it across both parts. And then we're going to come in here. We don't need this piece. So we're going to do that again. And cut across. Okay. So now you have your envelope. And I pull in these two pieces. I'm going to sit down to do this. And put some glue on it. You don't want tons and tons of glue, but you want enough that will stick everything. So I just kind of run a little thin amount. And it does even out some. Just be really careful in that top corner to get a good amount. Okay. And then this is your main piece with your flap. So I pull it over and I start down at the bottom and I push and then I pull up. Then what I do is take my regular messy bone folder and I push on it. <clears throat> that pushes out any glue. I use a baby wipe that is almost dry. It's just been sitting here. 
to wipe off any of the excess glue that pops out. And I do the same thing here and I clean off my bone folder. Okay, so now you can see that when I pulled this in, it created this little line. So all I do is I freehand it. I come from up here, just a little bit over, and I follow that line down. Now, again, I wouldn't have a plain paper usually, but this is just what I happen to grab to use for this. So if you were using something with white on the inside, just ink it with your distress inks. Okay, so that leaves us with the flap. And I just took my envelope, which is obviously a little bit smaller, and a pencil, and I just traced. And then I, before I finished up, I pulled it over just a little bit to line that end up. And then that makes a really nice flap. Then you're just going to come in and cut. And I didn't get too picky with this. I just kind of, you know, went with it. And they all came out really nice. Okay, so there's your flap. And then we're going to create the opening. So I'm using my one inch hole punch and on the sides of the punches there's the halfway point of the circle. So I'm going to line that up in my envelope and then I'm going to line it up from side to side and then line those little lines up so that my hole goes halfway in and just punch it. Okay so if you try to close the envelope at this point it's going to catch. So I just eyeballed it with my scissors and you could you know do this a lot more carefully and I just cut almost like a little V and then if you have anything on there from the pencil just erase it. Now I haven't gotten to the closure yet so when I decide or if I decide I'm gonna have a closure I will show you and but see how nicely that closes at this point and I'm going to bind it along the bottom. Okay so there you have it. How to make your own envelope and I hope you try this one and you know in different sizes it, it's just a really nice way to customize things. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know if it worked for you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.